This week on Marketplace. How far will hospitals go to make money? Raising rates for parking. It's a tax on my cancer patients. How much do you think you've spent on parking? It's got to be in the thousands. Patients and loved ones take risks to cut costs. Some fight back. It's un-Canadian. We reveal where the money goes. Shame on them. And push for change. Should families take on the cost of the hospital? We're in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Using this smart car for something you might not think is smart at all. We are trying to get a parking ticket at this hospital, on purpose. Watching nearby, waiting for the ticket man. Who's that? We want to know where the money from those tickets goes. We'll find out later. Across the country, Heather Stewart takes her daughter Catherine to yet another medical appointment. Catherine's a cancer patient. They pull up to Credit Valley Hospital in Mississauga, Ontario. But Heather's not parking at the hospital. We'll be back in a couple minutes, guys, okay? She drops off Catherine and her brother Jeffrey, then drives to the mall where parking is free. And Heather's not the only one trying to save money. Patients and loved ones take a long and treacherous walk. Struggle along a slippery path. They all park there and you can see the paths across the field of everybody walking to the hospital. Do you want some help with that? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting hard ice. You okay? All because they can't afford to pay $16 for hospital parking. It's hard. I'm out of job, so... We didn't do it at the beginning, but now it's just the cost. The hospital has become a second home for Heather and her daughter Catherine. Catherine has just entered isolation. Five years ago, she was diagnosed with a rare, aggressive type of cancer. I got a wish trip because um, I'm a kid with cancer. My wish trip was to go to Disney World, um, and I had a lot of fun. Her family tries to make the best of hard times in between a slew of medical appointments. How many days did you spend at the hospital in 2011? 147 days. 147 in yes. one year. She says the care is excellent, but... What toll does having to pay for parking every hospital visit take? It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. With our daughter diagnosed, uh, I'm not able to work. How much do you think you've spent on parking over the years? Mm, it's got to be in the thousands. A chunk of that change is spent here at Toronto's Sick Kids Hospital. Like many hospitals, Sick Kids says it uses the money for patient care. Parking $6 every half hour. Stay longer than an hour and a half, you've reached the daily max of 20 bucks. And now, the hospital scrapped the discount rate for parents, too. So you don't get a family discount no. anymore? This increases 25%, and that's astronomical, in my opinion. Hospitals across the country, in Red Deer, Regina, Winnipeg, Niagara Falls, and Truro, Nova Scotia. Just some that are raising their rates. Many say they don't get enough funding from provincial governments. So more and more have figured out their parking lots are money makers. At Toronto Sick Kids, parents are so worked up they start a petition asking for affordable rates. A thousand people sign. I'm truly disheartened by this callous rate increase. Shame on you. Why should hospitals treat families this way in order to make money? This is simply another slap in the face to parents who have already been emotionally and financially drained. Heather signs too. The number of times I've driven in that parking lot and our daughter's nauseous, 
I, I don't have a choice. I can't park three blocks away. But they won't bring back the parent discount. We have to pick our battles. And right now, whatever's best for our daughter is what our battle has to be. You're emotional about that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is it that you're thinking about? <laughs> Our friends and uh, some who aren't as fortunate as us, who've had to say goodbye to their children and what our future holds. And it's just hard. It's hard to have more and more and more. How does the parking add to that stress? It's the financial. It's, it's, and it's a huge factor. We wonder just how people across the country are being affected by hospital parking fees. Marketplace commissions a national survey of a thousand people, asks if parking fees have added stress to your hospital visit. 72% say yes. Back in Abbotsford, BC, a cancer specialist sees patients stressed by parking all the time. Now, Dr. Bob Winston is speaking out. I think parking fees are, they're a penalty for having a disease. It's a tax on my cancer patients. He thinks hospital parking should be free. People have paid their taxes so their health care should be covered and that includes parking. What are some of the things you've heard? I've had patients tell me they're not, they can't come back because they, they don't have the money. They've actually said I'm going to have to I'm gonna skip, a, skip an appointment. appointment. Yeah. In our national survey, we also ask if parking fees have affected how often you visited the hospital or how long you stayed. 52% say yes. My patients benefit hugely from having family and friends come in. They help patients get fed. They help patients do physio, walking around the halls and walking down to the lobby. So you know, any inhibition to having support for patients is, is the wrong thing. Terry Kristen has sure been a help for her sister Evelyn for the past month. She has lost so much of her memory, she doesn't remember what happened this morning, never mind last week or last year. Evelyn's just been diagnosed with a brain tumor. At Abbotsford Hospital, like a lot of hospitals, you have to pay at a meter before you go in. Four, five, so you have to estimate how long you'll be. Now we're probably going to be here for about two hours, I would think. Do you ever worry about the meter running out while oh, you're visiting your sister? Constantly. We're constantly running out of emergency, hoping that you don't miss the doctor when they come by and plugging more money into the, into the meter. Talking about a cancer diagnosis, prognosis or therapy, and somebody's looking at their watch and they're going, I'm going to step out and pay the meter. And I'm going, no, you can't. You have to stay here. If you miss it, you get a ticket. And that's what happened. Terry gets a $48 ticket. Oh, it was just one more thing. One more thing in the day. Um, we had had terrible news about my sister that uh, they weren't sure what was wrong, but they knew it was a brain tumor of sorts. And then to find that I'm going to get a parking ticket because I was trying to be there to help her through was really a little more than I was prepared to put up with. Under all the stress, Terry misses the deadline for paying and the fine goes up to $80. We wonder how much of that money goes to patient care. So back to our test at Abbotsford Hospital to get a ticket of our own. We rig our car with hidden cameras, then buy one hour of parking let it expire, and wait for the ticket man. Here he comes. Is he on to us? Coming up, the move to fight back. I can understand why people in this country are getting so fed up. And why are you allowing a private company to make money on the backs of sick patients? We're on a stakeout at Abbotsford Hospital in BC, watching nearby. In 27 minutes, we could get a ticket. As we try to get a parking ticket on purpose. See the patroller? He sure is giving out lots of tickets today. And now he's headed our way. He checks our car. And sure enough, 
writes a ticket up for us. $48, more than double the price of an Abbotsford City ticket, so how much of that goes to the hospital? The tickets from Impark, the largest parking management company in Canada. More and more hospitals are turning to private companies like Impark to run their lots. We ask Impark for an interview, no one will speak on camera. We track down an Impark insider. Hi, Arca. Corey Caravo used to be a senior accounting manager there. Why would a hospital need a company to run its parking? You would get a parking management company to come in to help you drive revenue. I guarantee you that any parking management company that's running a hospital has added revenue streams significant to that uh, hospital. Just check out this pitch to hospitals we find on Impark's website maximizing parking revenues in challenging times. What are some of the ways a parking company maximizes how much money it's making for its client? Through violations and ticketing. Um, and that ensures that your revenue is driven up because people that park there know that they may get tickets so they're going to more likely to pay. It's proven time and time again with the lots that they have. You put a compliance program in and their revenue absolutely peaks. Last year, Abbotsford Hospital cleared almost one and a half million dollars. Not far from Abbotsford, in the town of Delta, BC. I had a daughter that died of cancer, breast cancer. Lois Jackson remembers the added pain of parking fees as her daughter died in a Kamloops hospital four years ago. And you've got someone in, in hospital that's maybe not going to make it. And you're scrambling around for change. It's wrong. Jackson's a mother with a personal story but she's also the mayor of Delta and considered a hero in this fight. It's un-Canadian. I don't know why we are that mean to people who are already in a bad way. You know, I mean, they charge enough tax already for everything. A couple of years ago, Delta's hospital was slated to have parking meters installed, but Mayor Jackson and her council stepped in and passed a law to ban them. So, when you come to this hospital, you park and walk right in for free. What did the health authority say to you about your move? They weren't very pleased and they said uh, everyone has to pay for parking in the whole region. I said, well, we have a bylaw that uh, does not allow by, uh, parking meters and uh, we will stand by our bylaw. And to those who say hospitals have to charge to make up for budget shortfalls, I say sharpen your pencils. We should be finding that money somewhere else in the system. Since Delta and Abbotsford hospitals fall under what's called the Fraser Health Authority, we meet up with their media guy. Erica Johnson. Hi, Erica. Roy Thorpe Dorward. Should patients be in a consult with a doctor thinking about, oh, I've got to plug the meter? Is that what should be going through their mind? No, and we would hope not, and that's why our response to tickets is a flexible one. In terms but doctors of, say that's what's happening. People are worried about running outside and leaving meetings with them. You know, these are absolutely issues that we hear about and, and we're committed to, be, to responding to. I guess at the moment we're looking to strike a balance between our need to, to charge for hospital parking, to maintain the lots, make sure the spots are there, and also take care of those concerns when we hear about them. But you're making a profit off of patients and their families. Yeah, we're making money that goes back into providing healthcare services. So how much of the money from our parking ticket goes into providing those healthcare services? Just listen to this. Where does the money go from the parking tickets? Who gets to keep that? That one stays with the parking management company, so in this case, Impark. So Impark gets every dime from this ticket? Yes. None of it goes to the hospital? No. We think Terry Kristen might want to hear what we've learned. Remember, she paid $80 for a ticket she got while helping her sister at the hospital. Unlike the fees that you pay at a parking meter, when you get a parking ticket, Impark gets to keep all of that money. Really? I didn't know that. Nothing goes to the hospital. It's all for them. Oh, so they would love to ticket as many people as they can, wouldn't they? And we learn there may be another reason they love to ticket you. Turns out, every time they write a ticket, they make a commission. 
Why are you allowing a private company to make all of this money on the backs of sick patients? One of the reasons that we've stayed away from the ticketing is one that we, reser we reserve the ultimate authority to waive tickets, so there's no conflict there. Isn't there incentive there to ticket heavily if they're going to be making commission every time they ticket someone? Yeah, I'm not aware of that, uh, that uh, circumstance at all. Do you think it's a good idea? No, I don't think so at all. So if it was brought to our attention uh, that lots were being patrolled more heavily and therefore ticketed more heavily as a result. So if it was a concern that, that was brought to us, we can look into it, absolutely. Coming up. Would you like to try to get your money back? Sure. And we take a message from parents to Canada's biggest children's hospital. I've got something here. I'd just like you to hold on to this for me. Terry Kristen had to pay $80 for a ticket she got at Abbotsford Hospital after her meter expired while she was inside helping her sick sister. Would you like to try to get your money back? I would like to try, but my chances of doing it, I'm sure, are next to nothing. So, we show Terry's ticket to Roy Thorpe Dorward, who speaks for the hospital. And now she wants her money back because she's learned that it's going to Impark, that none of it is going to this hospital here. Is this something that you would arrange to look at to get her money back? We've committed to be compassionate and flexible. I can look into that, yeah. Nine days later, we hear back, and finally, some good news for Terry. She'll get back her 80 bucks. Back in Toronto, Heather Stewart's taking Catherine back to sick kids. And without that parent discount, Heather's spending another $60 here just this week. We have a lot of questions for sick kids, so we meet with Executive Vice President of Corporate Services, Jim Garner. Hi, I'm Erica Johnson. Welcome sick kids. Why did you do away with the parent discount? We looked at our policy in this respect and we compared it to other healthcare institutions across Canada and we looked at all the children's hospitals in Canada. But did you look at the impact it's having on parents? We certainly considered the across, uh, across the board all the relevant impacts and this was a matter as, as, as you may appreciate was extensively debated and discussed across all of the various divisions and departments of the hospital involving the most senior levels of management. And you decided let's get rid of the family discount? And we decided to re change our rate structure and go to a harmonized uh, daily rate but provide the ability to buy discounted passes. Parents don't want these weekly or bi-weekly or monthly passes. They don't need the stress of trying to figure out how often they're going to be parking at this mm -hmm. hospital. Why not just give parents what they want, a better daily parking rate here? Being an, a member of the management team of a hospital, you really have to find a balance between the family-centered care and the fiscal responsibility of the hospital. We can't take on the full financial responsibilities that families experience. But should families take on the cost of the hospital? It's inevitable that in an, an unfortunate situation that, that these kinds of experiences create emotional and social and financial hardships on families. Last year, sick kids made five million off parking fees. Sounds like a lot, but compared to all their revenues, parking money's a drop in the bucket. The money that you bring in from parking is less than 1% of mm -hmm. your total revenue. Mm -hmm. Is it worth all the stress you're causing families? We're in a very constrained government funding, as you, as you know. I mean, Ontario is going through a very fiscally tough time, and that, that experience is being conveyed down to all the broader public sector institutions, including hospitals. So uh, in the exercise of our duties, we can't, we can't not consider any source of, of revenue. How about saying this is such a small portion of our total revenue, and yet it's creating such hardship for so many families. They are stressed out at night. They, they can't make their other bills. They've had to make choices. They're, some of them are in tears over this. But sick kids can't be responsible for the full costs of a course of treatment for a child that's going through a complicated disease state. They don't There's want it for free. They just want something they can afford that's not going to break the bank. We have something to show Garner. I've got something here. I'd just like you to hold on to this for me. These are the names of a thousand people who have signed a petition asking for better parking rates at your hospital. And they use words in the petition like the hospital is gouging, they're being greedy. They say it's shameful, the parking rates that you're charging at this hospital. What do you say to these hundreds and hundreds of people who sign this petition who are in desperate need for a better parking rate? 
First, we, I say we understand and we appreciate the financial and emotional hardships that you go through in a course of treatment at the hospital but for sick children. But how about listening to them? They want a better parking rate. What, what I would say is we try, the hospital tries to do everything it can do in a responsible and balanced way to support families. Well, we, the first we, thing they do on this petition is they ask for a meeting with you, which they never got. Will you commit right now to sitting down with this group and talking about your parking rates? I, we, we, Sick Kids meets with, reg, with groups regularly on various issues, and we will, we're very open to meeting with any group so is that a on yes? this issue, meet with provided this it will be a constructive meeting. Okay, Great. so we have your word on that. As, uh, well. He agrees to meet parents, but... Shall I leave this petition with you? No, we have a copy of it, thank you. So you know it's there online. are a thousand people who are unhappy with your parking rates? but you're not budging. Meantime, Heather's about to pay for parking at yet another hospital, taking Catherine and her cousins to cheer up Heather's mom, who's just had treatment for breast cancer. Emotionally hard and financially too. You can't keep putting more stressors on families that are already tapped. The families need help. The families really need help. Help that's not coming until hospitals park the idea of making money off people in pain.